If I consider A as my input, A bar will be my output 0, 1. For 0, it will be 1. For 1, it will be 0. This is the logical symbol and this is the true table that you have to write. Gate is also called as logical gate because it is dealing with only zeros and ones. That's why we will be considering this as a logical gate. Okay, using only NOR gate and using only NAND gate. This is also like this. So how we am going to uh, get this OR gate and NOR gate with the help of NOR gate and with the help of NAND gate. Hello everybody, a warm welcome to one and all. I welcome you all to the revision session on chapter 3 that is logic gates. I am Rohini TS, lecturer, Department of Computer Science, Viryashram Pre-University College, Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. So in our today's session, we are dealing with the chapter 3 that is logic gates. So before that, uh, we'll see the blueprint of that means marks distribution of this chapter. So if you see the marks distribution of this chapter 3 called logic gates, so you are going to get one question that is for one mark and two mark one question will be there and three mark one question will be there. So totally you are going to get three questions from this chapter three and that will be totally for six marks. One mark one question, two marks one question, three marks one question. So three question which is of six marks. So before getting into the important questions or frequently asked question, I just wanted to give a brief introduction regarding this chapter called logic gates. So as we all know that the computer understands only zeros and ones, right? Zero means uh, low or that means false and one means high or that means true. So when we are dealing with the zeros and ones, we are going to have a concept called gate. So gate is nothing but that is gate is also considered as a logic gate that will going to accept one or more input signals and it will going to produce only one output signal. That is what the gate is all about. So you have to understand the definition of a gate. Gate is also called as logical gate because it is dealing with only zeros and ones. That's why we will be considering this as a logical gate, okay? And here we have a two kinds of gate. So one is a basic gate and another one is derived gates. So we have two types of gates. One is basic gates and another one is derived gates. So when it comes to the basic gates, within this we have a AND gate, we have OR gate and also we have a NOT gate. So when it comes to the derived gate, so here we have NAND gate and we have NOR gate, we have XOR that is exclusively OR and we have XNOR gate, okay. So this is the only concepts that you are supposed to learn from this logic gate topics. So as I told, logic gates are nothing but what? It will going to accept one or more input signal or two or more input signal and it will going to produce only one output signal. So if the signal is high, that, uh, that means true or that will be one. So two kinds we have basic gates and derived gates. So one is uh, under the basic gates we have and or and not. So under the derived gates, we have NAND, NOR, XOR and XNOR that is exclusively OR and exclusively NOR. So here we will going to consider this NAND and NOR gate as a universal gate, universal gate. So why we are going to consider this NAND and NOR as a universal gate? Why? Because with the help of this NAND and NOR gate, I can derive or I can develop this AND gate, OR gate as well as the NOT gate. By making use of this NAND gate, we can create AND, OR and NOT gate. That's why it will be considered, this NAND and NOR will be considered as what? Universal gate. So what are the kind of questions that you can expect? So when it comes to the gate, Main question is what is gate or what is logic gate? That is the one mark question. It is very important for one mark question. And what are the types of uh, gates we have? Basic and derived. So when it comes to the basic gates, here you need to concentrate on the logical symbol as well as the true table. So you have to concentrate on the true table of each gate along with the logical symbol logical symbol and its working procedure and then its true table. You have to understand the true table and logical symbol of all these gates. So AND gate is what? It will going to take one or more, two or more input signal but it will produce only one output signal. It is like a logical AND that is multiplication. What is the last symbol we have here? D. So logical AND how to remember the symbol? It will be like D. 
okay so if i give a input like a and b the output will going to be a dot b it will going to be stored in some variable called y this is and gate what about or gate it is also going to accept two or more input signal but produces only one output signal and it is related to what addition so it will going to be like this so let me consider a and b if it is or gate what it will going to be a plus b then not gate so not gates are nothing but it is also considered as inverter it will accepts only one input signal and it produces only one output signal if my input is a output will be a complement if my input is zero output will be one it is like a inverter how we are going to write that i will take only one input and we are going to use this logical symbol for this not gate x and it will going to be x bar this is regarding basic gates and you have to uh, go with a true table that is what we have to take a combination of a and b so a b that means 2 power 2 that uh, 2 power 2 is nothing but 4 so we are going to get four values four variant values in order to get this a dot b and we'll see about this uh, derived gates so i told you that uh, nand and nor will be considered as a universal gate so nand what it mean n plus a and d that means it is just a combination of and gate with not gate that is why it will be considered as a nand gate it is just a, a complement of this and gate and nor in the same way this is what uh, it will going to be a complement of or gate that's why it is nor gate so how we are going to write the and gate in this way i will be writing and gate if i add inverter to it or if i include a uh, not gate to it then it will become nand gate so a dot b whole complement this is a dot b if i use a complement then it will become a dot b complement so or else i can also write like this okay that is nand gate how about nor gate this is also same thing as the or gate plus not gate so it will be like this directly so if i use a bubble here then it will going to be a plus b whole complement this is nor gate this is nand gate then how we are going to write this x or this is exclusively or so how we are going to write the or it will be like this no if it is exclusive it will be like this then what we are going to get exclusive or so this is or if i write like this then it will be x or so here we have a x or which is complemented or which is added with a not gate so it will be like this then a plus b exclusively or complement this is x or okay so this is how we are supposed to understand what is logic gate and for two marks you have to understand what is the logical symbol of and gate or gate not gate nand not x or x nor along with a true table so these kind of question can be asked for either two or three marks question so this is the only possibility of getting a question from this chapter so we'll see the questions write the standard symbol for or gate already i have discussed regarding the or gate right it will take two input and it will produce x plus y as an output and write the standard symbol for and gate so it will be like and so remember this d last letter d so it will be like this x dot y and then what is logic gate important question what is logic gate logic gate is simply an electronic circuit which operates on one or more input signal and always produces an output signal we are going to get one output signal all the time and most frequently and most important question which gate is also considered as a inverter which gate that is not gate because if i my input is 0 then the output will be 1 if my input is 1 then the output will be 0 that's why it will be considered as what inverter so next write the standard symbol for two input nor gate so as i told we can take two or more input signal nor gate it is just a or gate which is bubbled uh, with a not gate so it will be like this or as you can consider here we have a or gate x plus y will be the output of this or gate and if i give this as an input to not gate it will become nor gate so or as i can directly write like this so a 
B and A plus B whole complement. In the same way, you can get a question regarding NAND gate also. So, how it will be AND gate which will be added with a NOT gate that will going to give you the NAND gate or else what I can write. So, I can take two input and I can write the AND gate. If I bubbled with that AND gate, it will be NAND gate. So, A dot B whole bar. We'll see the next question. Draw a logical symbol of XOR. So, XOR consider it is OR gate and if I write like this, then it will become XOR. So, OR in the sense A plus B plus is rounded with the uh, circle, then that will be XOR. So, you have to mention the input here. So, these are the possibility of getting one mark question or else you can also expect uh, write the logical symbol and true table for one marks also. Mainly uh, some different question will be like what? What is logic gate and which gate is also considered as a inverter that is not gate and there could be a possibility of asking a question mention the universal gates. NAND and NOR will be considered as a universal gate or else there can, uh, there can be a chances of getting a question like mention any one basic gate. So, which are the gate which comes under basic gates? We have AND, OR and NOT gate that comes under a basic gate. So, this is regarding one mark question. These are the possibility of getting one mark question. So, now we will see two and three marks question here. How could be the questions that you can get in terms of two and three mark question? Write the true table and standard symbol for XOR gate. So, when you wanted to answer these kind of question, at the time you have to answer if it is for two marks or if it is for three marks, how to answer this kind of question, what they are asking, true table and standard symbol. So, you have to write the true table first. So, you have to write the logical symbol along with the true table. So, when you are answering this kind of question, what are the input that you are taking and what will be the output for that particular gate that you have to mention. So, this uh, symbol will be for one marks and true table can be for two marks and if you have written its uh, uh, working procedure how it will going to be used that means when we are going to get one and when we are going to get all the output signal as a zero that you have to mention and also this one and this one is important question out of this basic gates and uh, derived gates. So, this is somehow different. That means as I told uh, NAND and NOR gate are the universal gate, right? We, uh, with the help of NAND and NOR gate, I can uh, get AND gate, I can get NOT gate, I can get OR gate. So, how we are going to do that? There will be only two possibilities that is realized AND OR NOT gate using NAND gate. In the same way, realize AND OR and NOT gate using NOR gate. This is very very important question which can be asked for 3 marks most frequently asked question it is. Okay. So, already we have solved all these things in the concept class. So, go back to the concept class and learn these derivations. How we are going to get AND gate with the help of uh, NOR gate. How I am going to get OR gate with the help of uh, NOR gate. So, that and all you have to analyze and you have to write along with its logical symbol input and output what and all we are going to get along with step by step procedure. Then also construct logical diagram for OR and NOT operations using only NOR gate and using only NAND gate. This is also like this. So, how we am going to uh, get this OR gate and NOT gate with the help of NOR gate and with the help of NAND gate. So, realization and derivation of all the basic gates with NAND gate and de uh, re uh, derivation of all the basic gates with NOR gate is very very important. But the way of asking the question could be different. But the answer will be same for all these three. So, that you have to understand how we are going to derive all the basic gates with the help of NAND either NOR. So, that two questions are very very important for three marks questions and also explain the basic logic gates with standard symbol and truth table. What are the basic gates we have? So, we have AND gate, we have OR gate and also we have a NOT gate, right? So, for each type that means AND, OR and NOT, you have to write what is this AND gate is all about. Like it will going to take two or more input signal but produces only one output signal. It is like a logical multiplication. So, when it will be true, when the answer will be true, 
all the input signals are high then the output will be high so you have to write a symbol uh, whether it for uh, two input or and gate and three input and gate how i am going to write a three input if it is for two input and gate then how i am going to write a dot b right what about three input and gate so it will going to take three inputs like a b and c right a b c then what will be the output for this if it is for two input a dot b if it is for three input a dot b dot c so you have to write this and you have to write the truth table i will show you the truth table of and gate that is how we are to do the same thing for or nor nand like that so here i am going to take a b what will be the output a dot b right so we have only two variables here that means 2 power 2 so what is 2 power 2 4 that means we are going to get the four possibilities then how i am supposed to write double zero double one and here zero one zero one this is multiplication no so zero into zero 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 into one zero one into zero zero one into one one then you have to write we are going to get the output signal as high only when all the input signals are high that is what related to and gate same thing for or gate so here instead of uh, multiplication we are going to do the addition how it will be then so 0 plus 0 0 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 One should not write two because math uh, mathematics is different than the CS. So we are going to deal with only zeros and ones. So one plus one will be one. Then when the output signal is high in the and or gate, when any one of the input signal is high, then the output will be high. For not gate, I told you we are going to deal with only one input and only one output. So instead of two power two, we have to take two power one. That will be two. That means it will going to have a possibility of two variables if i consider a as my input a bar will be my output 0 1 for 0 it will be 1 for 1 it will be 0 this is a logical symbol and this is the true table that you have to write and these kind of questions can be asked for either two or three marks question in the same way explain the working of two input nand gate there could be a possibility of asking three input also but here they are asking regarding the two input nand gate with logical symbol and the truth table so remember truth table uh, retains two marks and logical symbol retain one marks if it is of three mark question or if it is a three mark question you can explain uh, how this nand gate will going to work that will be for one marks how the logical symbol for one marks and truth table for one marks then explain the working of two input nor gate with the symbol and truth table so for all the gates so what and all the gates we have and or not nand nor xor xnor so we have totally seven gates so for all the seven gates you have to understand its logical symbol and its working procedure and then its truth table so if you learned all those things six marks will be in your pocket then give the logic symbol and working of and gate but it is of uh, can be asked for two mark question this is the only thing that you have to learn in the chapter 3 that is logic gates it's all about my today's session and the chapter 3 called logic gates let me meet you in the next session with a revision of further chapters until that keep learning keep on growing thank you